In this video, we're going to be looking at a few of the HD upgrades that Maverick RC has released for their Quantum Series trucks. Stay tuned! get right into those upgrades. Yeah, all right. So the first thing we're gonna have a look at, because I've opened the packages already. So these HD turning buckles, we're gonna be installing them in a second. They look a lot beefier than the ones that come standard, so hopefully they will be a lot more durable. I haven't broken mine, but I've seen a lot on the internet where people have, so let's give it a try. And next up we have these, so HD shocks. These are HD aluminium setup, so these are fully aluminium, no plastics. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get them on there and see how they go. These do come in part, so like with this, you can buy the HD aluminium or HD shock shafts separately, which is normally the thing that bends or breaks. I decided to go for the full upgrade shocks, but you can also get these part by part. So if you just wanna replace the shock shafts, they're like, I don't know, 12, 13 Australian dollars for a set, which would keep you going. But we have more, we have more, oh, well, I've got two sets of those, and that's for my other flux, but this is a big thing, clear body, this is made in a thicker leg sand than what comes with this, this is a rapidly thing that just broke pretty much very quickly, I do love the design of this, but I'm gonna go with this because it's gonna be more durable. So we're gonna be painting this up. It's uh, part number 150, 250. Quantum Plus XT clear body, 70 Australian dollars. And then you have these, 42 Australian dollars for the shock shaft sets for two of them. I think these were like, I don't know, they were less than 20 Australian dollars for the steering buckles. So with the clear body, we are going to Paint it with a pearl clear first, and then we're gonna back it up with a fluorescent green. Hopefully that's gonna be cool. So we're gonna start off with the turnbuckles, as and you can see them right here. Um, so you need a two mil hex driver, and I guess one of those wheel nut tools to do it for the little nut right here. So let's just get that done right away. All right, so we start off with this one in here. It's Take that out. And then you have another just under here, which obviously I can't show with doing that, so let's pick this up like that. I don't know if this will work. We'll just flip it over. Correct, we'll just do this. Yeah, so you can see you have your 2 mil hex right there. Sorry, oh, green. So you got your two mil hex here, and you've got um, 5.5 mil underneath. And just take that off like this. So I'm making it a little bit more complicated now because I'm trying to show you guys how to remove it. Otherwise. Yeah, it's a lot easier when you're just not filming. <laughs> and as you can see, my truck's been out in the grass for a bit. So something you want to do is to simply, you need to take both of these sides off. So I'm going to get something to hold on there and then just twist these and uh, ball the joints off. something to hold it. This happens to be some sort of an RCTI head. And then you got these things and just take them off. Mm. 
I'll probably speed this up a bit. Let's have a comparison look. So you can see there's quite a bit of a difference on these. And it should be a lot steadier this one. So let's get it installed. So when it gets tough, you'll need to put this back in the tool and you obviously need another tool for that because apparently it doesn't fit, they're not the same size. I'll just get a plier. It's probably easy to start off with a plier from the start. Yep. Get it all the way in there because that's how they were. They go opposite directions, so try to see, so you've got this one right here and the other one the opposite way, somewhat, so let's see. Alright, so let's have a look at replacing that shook. I'm going to use a bit of a power tool here to get it off. you got the same 2mm hex in the screw in the bottom at the arm. And another 2 mil hex up here. Keep in mind that when you're replacing these, so I don't know, these look like they're the thicker kind, but if it's on the plus, the plus has different spring rates. So the normal quantum versus this, these are gonna go back on my normal quantum as these do look a little bit thicker. So they're probably good for it, but think about it then because it could be a bit too hard for your standard quantum. And then, yeah, it's just reverse operation to install. I have to take that down a bit so I don't strip the thread too much. Yep, that's pretty much it. Something that I did mention before that I need to do now is to fit those little washers. So, what I am going to do is to fit a washer behind the shock to get them out a little bit from the upper arm. I don't know if this is going to be good because it takes it out a bit from the... Yeah, it should still be fine. It's got enough thread, so let's put that there. Get it up a little bit.
All right. So when you use a machine, just remember, just don't go all the way in with the machine. Check a little bit afterwards with your hand tools. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera and I'll show you when we're done. All right. Here we have it. This is, oh geez, I'm trying to capture it, but it's really hard to see. The pearl flake that's in this paint. Look at that. And there we have the aluminium shocks. There are the HD turnbuckles. Um, yeah, so that was those pretty big though, three upgrades. But yeah, another run of Maverick upgrades. I'm really nice, really happy with the body, how it turned out. This color really pops. Yeah. Oh, well, there we have it. That is the finished product. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the content. Maybe subscribe, push a like button if you do, thumbs down if you don't. But anyway, try to stay safe and keep on bashing.